I'm Barbara Dixon and I would like to show you today how to make a decoupage bowl out of scrapbook paper and Mod Podge. Very, very simple. Um, you will need a few tools. Um, if you do not have one, you need a either a large hole punch, this one is one and three quarters inches, or find something that's that size and trace and cut out. Uh, but it takes approximately 50 of these circles to make a bowl, so the hole punch makes things a lot easier. And then I'm also using a Pringles lid um, to trace for the bottom, and you'll need two circles for the bottom. And I'm doing those to where I kind of center the design on here. So you've got your piece of scrapbook paper, and you just kind of center it over whatever you want to cut out, trace it, and then you can cut your circle out. And we have that. Now for your other circles, just use your hole punch. I cut the scrapbooking paper into two inch strips and then you just kind of put them in your hole punch. I look at the bottom so that I can kind of line it up. And then just punch, punch, and you can do a whole lot in just a little bit of time. You also need to protect your work surface. surface. Um, I just have some paper towel here, old newspapers, anything like that works well, and then some sort of plastic bowl to use as your form. And this will, once it's dry, it'll pop out very easily. Okay, we're going to get started here. I'm going to open my Mod Podge, and I'm making sure my bowl is on this. And I'm going to start out with my bottom. And what you want to do is coat this with the Mod Podge. You are going to get your hands sticky. There is just no way around it. If you don't like sticky, you might want to put on a pair of like latex gloves, but it works. Now, you want to lay this face down in your bowl and just kind of stick it in the bottom of your bowl and then start with your circles and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to put Mod Podge on them. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a coat on the inside of this one also. And I'm going to lay this one down and I'm going to use my brush, just a foam brush. And I just scooted that. Let's see if I can get it back in there. And just kind of push it down in here. Get it in place. And it looks like that. And just pick up your next circle. Get your Mod Podge on it. You don't have to be real neat with this by any means. Just lay it down, overlap your circles a little bit. I tend to like just kind of rub them with my finger to get most of the wrinkles out so that you can get your good overlap there. grab another. Again, make sure this first layer that you have them all face down. And then when we get to the second layer, you'll do those facing you so that it will, so you'll end up with a double layer of your circles. See how I'm just kind of pressing that in there? And these are overlapping a little bit. Okay, I am now working on the second, the inside layer, uh, and these I'm putting on with the design side facing up. Again, just kind of pushing them in there. And I'm doing the, I have two different, um, I use two different papers on this, 
and I'm just randomly picking these up. I am not um, trying to do them in any particular order. Um, I just think they look prettier when it's more random. But that's just me. When you do one for yourself, if you want to make it, you know, all the same or in a pattern, anything like that, that is perfectly fine. But I'm just putting them inside the bowl, all facing up. And when I get this initial round on here, then I will put my center in on the bottom. And like I said, you get messy doing this. My hands are just kind of full of this stuff. Um, this washes off easily, and if you don't get it washed off right away, once it dries, you can peel it off. Kind of, It's a type of glue, so think about when you were a kid and you got Elmer's glue on your fingers, and then you just peeled it off. That's kind of what this will do. So just keep placing your circles, making sure they overlap somewhat inside of here and smoothing them down. I like to get messy. I don't know about you, but to me, art is just a fun way of getting messy without any, con you know, it's like, hey, I can do this and get messy. what I always told my kids when they were little. It's like you can make as big a mess as you want as long as you clean it up when you're done. And that usually seems to work pretty well. So I tend to make big messes sometimes, but then I clean up when I'm done. Okay, I now have one entire row on the inside here. So I am going to take my paper that I have the rows centered on and I'm going to place that right in the center of this with my rows facing up because I really want that to show on the inside of my bowl. And I'm just gonna kinda go over that again with the Mod Podge to make sure that it is down in there really well. So it looks kinda like this. And then I will continue with one more row of the small circles and these I will try, uh, make sure you hear me say try, to kind of line up with the top row that I have in here. They don't have to line up exactly, but I like to try to line them up the top of it with the circles that I already have there. And I know this right now it kind of looks like a mess once it's dry it'll be perfectly fine you usually have to let it dry for about 24 hours and then it's going to pop out of the bowl you'll have to kind of do that but you can pop it out of the bowl and you'll have a beautiful decoupage bowl that you can use for whatever you want they're they're very very nice and trust me, this can get addicting. Um, this is my third one that I've made so far, and I really, really want to make, I want to try a bigger one. Um, you can make them any size whatsoever. Just realize that, like I said, it can be addicting, and you're going to want, you're probably going to want more than one.